Enjoy that. Yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> As they explained, it's a very small snippet of our culture Sorry. through song and dance. Makara is now going to brief you. <laughs> but you can. <laughs> but you must go through that forfeiting. You must go through that ceremony. It's the most important. You don't just walk onto somebody's property. Well, we have a ceremony for you to walk onto our property. And it, it makes you one with us. Now, we are sitting in our rangatira, whare rangatira, the chief's house. This is the house where all the genealogy would be kept. The carvings would be on the posts, on the side of the wall. And between those carvings will be such tapestry as this, what we call tukutuku. Most tapu for our people. But sacred, it's another language. It tells you stories. I'll share some of that today. As you would have noticed, there were carvings when you came in. The two main carvings at the bottom, the white one, they hold up the leg. This side is female, and this side is male. Don't worry how we work it out. You'll figure it out. <laughs> <coughs> and of course, you see, it's the same as the, uh, the waharua, the gateway, the maihi, the arms coming down with the rapa rapa, the fingers at the bottom. Those rapa rapa are important too. By the way, I'm speaking for Ngāti Whātua, not for any other tribe in this country. <coughs> Some things that I say may differ even to the uh, ceremony that took place today. There will be altercations, or slight alterations, but they're personally still. Yeah? <laughs> and of course, like I was saying, this side is the female, and this is the male side, those carvings. When we come in, we sit in the belly. We have a beam across the top. This reaches out to the, the face. Yeah. So, in your mind, what connects to your head? The spine. The spine. Yeah. <coughs> and of course, coming off the spine, we have the rafters coming down. Ribs. The rib cage. Of course. And of course, behind every rib cage is a, uh -huh. a heart. That is our central post here, the most sacred post. So, commonly known as the heart of the people. So, you can consider yourself sitting in the valley of our tupuna, our ancestor. Yeah. And as I was saying, often the the uh, the armor, the posts down the side, these will be carved figures. These will be carved figures of uh, chiefs who relate to this tribe in some way. Yeah. Often today you will go into a whare nui and you will see all the tribes of New Zealand who are all on the side of the wall. You will see different styles of tapestry, the tukutuku. These tell a story of those people, something sacred to them. So they're very important in telling the story. And often, yes, when you go into a, a hui in this situation, then often the Komatua will speak of these such people of the past, our ancestors, our tupuna, <coughs> and relate everything back to the tribe. Isn't that fantastic? We had a written language and you didn't know it. <coughs> We've only had it, actually only had a written language for 175 years. But other than that, it would have been through the tapestry here. This would tell the story. The carving, the song. As you notice, you must support your chief when you're singing or after he's spoken. It's really important. We still do all of this what you observe today. It's not something we just put a show on. We do it because we mean it. We want you to feel welcome. So while you're in our country, you have had a proper welcome. And so, welcome. Here you are. Okay. If you have any questions at any time, feel free to ask me. Raise your hand, I'll try and get through you all, or else I'll talk you to sleep. Yeah. <laughs> this is very sacred. It's very painful too, I might add, when you hear about how it's done. <laughs> and done over several days. You notice our Dilma, also. The, the uh, moko on the chin, and on the lips. Mm. And often too, sometimes just right in the middle there. Mm. But just that, you won't see a full face tattoo on a woman. 
that's a man's thing. Mm. Now, just to give you an idea, and I'm not saying this is too outright, but uh, there are, these indicate certain things about a person, who they are, where they are, where they fit. Yeah. So on the chin for the female, this is they're telling you their rank. Mm -hmm. Often it's a high rank, the daughter of a chief. Yeah. Mm. The wife of the chief, the first wife, the second wife, the third wife, the fourth. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> they all got those there, but you know who they are mm -hmm. by this. You know there's something you don't muck around with. <laughs> yeah. and if they tell you to go and do something, you go and do it. <laughs> And of course, it's an honor to wear such a thing. Our people still wear it today. Not like they used to in the old days, but they still wear it today, but they still carry our mana with it. There are rules to wear those sort of things. You can't just wear one because you want to look pretty. <laughs> you must earn it. First of all, you must know your language. And you must be working with your people. No? Then you can wear it. And of course, get the drugs out of your body, get the alcohol out of you, get the cigarettes out of you. Mm. That's when you wear a, a moko. It's a kowai moko for a woman. For the male, same. <coughs> the rank, you fit where you fit in. Yeah? You could be a master carver and you'll be tattooed in me. You could be the chief, son of a chief. You could be the toughest warrior. The boss warrior, yeah. the general, <laughs> that'll be in there. Genealogies, father's side, tattooed in there. Little flicks here and there will, will indicate what's going on. But only he can tell you that. I can't tell you what it means. But he can tell you what it means. It's his. It belongs to him. Yeah, that, that and you are in the belly of the God now. Yes. 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 That was a process that was done over three days. they would not light fires in them, naturally highly flammable. So what they would do during winter, build a fire in the centre, rocks up, and then transfer the hot rocks inside fire pits. All right, lower a thick mats over the doors and windows, and that's what keeps them nice and warm, all right, during winter, insect free, etc. All right, the funny how to kick here, the weaving huts. Bunch of carry on up to the post. Excuse me. Yes. Any questions about three three sections? Okay. Alright. Okay, we just follow Mike, we'll take you up to the next uh carving. Well he is a fucker fucker. Cool. Cool fucker. Yeah, yeah. This is our paper. 
very patriotic, our guardian, um, what you would know as your patron. Yeah? Now, this actually tells the story of this county ministry. It tells the story of Tehana, our little community, as Thomas referred to earlier. It's a love tragedy battle. Lots of tribes were involved, and one particular chief. <laughs> now, how the stories go <coughs> is that, uh, by the way, up here on this hill up here, this is where the village actually used to sit, not down here. And now traditions we could never rebuild on top of something where battles took place and bloodshed. Yeah? <coughs> so, we have pressed it down here for education purposes. But we, I'm referring to this piece of land up here. Now, of course, the home people, often we have visitors, go through the Pōpiri. Another tribe was passing through from way over in the west. And uh, I think they may have been lost in trying to find a way, or they were trading. But they ended up coming here, to Tehama. Now, they were put in the Nāti Bautu with those days. Now, of course, Raru Raru is the gossip. There was a handsome chief in there. All the women were Raru Raru about the handsome chief. Now, Tehana, being uh, the daughter of the chief, she was sacred. She was tough. No one was allowed to undo her, especially male. Keep your eyes off. <laughs> community got its name from the tribe that used to sit up here on this hill up here. So we share it with you how this came about. Two reasons why our people would go to work. One, resources. That was trouble trying to take your resources. Two, your water. True, believe it or not. Woman. Often, men went fishing, come back to the village, Another tribe to come through the soul of the water. So they go to battle to get their water back. True story. Yeah. Okay, we're going to make our way around. We can jump in front. But on the other side here, please, there's another car bring off to Hana with her, with her co wide muffle. That's all of them. Her original muffle. She'd like to have a look. She yeah. was a beautiful woman. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, I see. We are looking for some shade. <laughs> Lay, come, come. Yeah. Three finger, life, death, and spirit. Why are you doing it? <laughs> you have drum house. Huh? Boom, 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 boom. <laughs>
Pogdo statue on top in their cave. Then you water. So yeah, waterfalls. <laughs> wow, look at that. Mm -hmm. So we are out of all the activities now. And it's... <laughs> Good experience. Now we are going to eat. Yeah.